Vice President Kashim Shetima has advised political aides to avoid any action that can tarnish the reputation of President Bola Tinubu's administration. Shetima gave the advice in Abuja at the opening of the retreat and sensitization program for political aides and senior civil servants on administrative procedure and governance in the public sector. The retreat, organized by the presidential villa in conjunction with Direct Knowledge Consult Limited, will hold from September 4 to September 22 at the Army Resource Center. According to the vice president, the topic of the retreat, forging a path to responsible governance, a call to political aid, is designed to equip participants with the tenets of public administration. The responsibility you carry isn't merely about fulfilling your role. It encompasses the aspirations of our entire nation. This retreat is designed to facilitate your transition and equip you with the fundamental tenets of public sector administration and governance. With great pleasure, I extend my warmest welcome to you on this remarkable path. As many of you take your initial steps into the realm of public service, especially at the federal level, let it be clear that your competence is beyond doubt. You are here because of your formidable skills and our confidence in your potential to catalyze change. We yearn for fresh and innovative ideas to harmonize with established practices. We are here to build a nation that aligns with the aspirations we have pledged to fulfill in resonance with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's visionary manifesto. In light of this, it has become essential to orchestrate this program, which is dedicated to imparting a profound understanding of the entry cases surrounding confidentiality and governance. Ethics, protocol, and communication procedures. These elements stand as the bedrock upon which the public service is built, as stewards of public trust. At the highest tiers of the government, your role is to uphold the values that underpin a well-functioning administration. From this very moment, you are bound by the laws of our land in all matters of official correspondence. These laws outline the consequences for both intentional and unintended mishandling of the information entrusted to your care. Should you falter in this duty, the consequences will ripple far beyond the intricate public of governance. They could erode public trust, jeopardize national security, and undermine the very integrity of our administration. Within its pressings, operations piled upon a hierarchy, wiring each role and position adhere to well-defined protocols and communication procedures. It is paramount that we safeguard this tranquility, for anarchy has never yielded anything beneficial. Your primary instinct should always revolve around the recognition that you are part of a team, united in the pursuit of the shared objective. There is no need for rivalry. This precisely is the essence of your presence here. Earlier, the Permanent Secretary of the State House, Mr. Funsho Adebi, said that the training aimed to register the commitment of the political aides to actualize the goals of the Tinubu administration. We also here to, to look at principal management. Number one is to register commitment on our part in throwing our weight behind our principals, in ensuring that their success is non-negotiable. Two, we are gathered here, as we must have seen in the last two lectures, to look into information management system. What does it mean? What it means is simply that by virtue of the fact that you are working with the president of a country, the vice president of a country, put you in some, in some class. 
We also have to look at code of conduct, ethics, how not to behave, how to behave in the state house.